Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get brand new live pass points in NBA Live Mobile Season 5. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video and comment down below whether you bought the live pass this month or whether you didn't. Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. Okay, so yes, we do have a brand new live pass. So I know it's been out for a couple of days, but I thought I'd make this sort of breakdown about how you can get the uh, free live pass, the standard one, absolutely free and get all the way to the end and get this 94 overall Tobias Harris if you're going to try and get him. Let me know in the comments down below. And then also, if you're also trying to grind the pre premium live pass, get all these courts, the jerseys, stuff like that. As you can see, you've got a jersey here, earned edition Lakers jersey. You've also got a Lakers court there. And then finally, you've got a 98 overall LeBron James. We'll also go on into the ultimate store so i'll show you how to get some tickets as well because those are going to be really helpful to getting some really high overall masters even some 100 plus overall cards as you can see here we've got some high overall players we got a 99 Manu Ginobili, you got 101 Moses Malone, 103 Scotty Pippen and that 105 Dennis Rodman. So those are looking really nice cards. But I'm going to show you exactly how you can get all of these ones. So if you want to buy the Life Pass, you can. You just have to press this blue button here, the blue store icon. You can buy it here. For me, it costs £10. I think it costs about $9.99 or something like that. You can also buy a Pass Plus, which is a little bit more and you will get a guaranteed 94 overall Russell Westbrook. It will give you skip five milestones, so you'll get a guaranteed five. 100 live pass points 100 live tickets which you can use in the store and some nba cash as well so if you want to spend the money you can but for all of you no money spent guys there is a lot you can get in this live pass as you can see here you're guaranteed 30 live tickets you're going to get some stamina some cash some more live tickets some coins i know it's not a lot of coins but for the cash that's pretty good and the live tickets you can use to actually get some more coins which is going to be good as well you've got this boost token here it is a power one i don't know why it's in like a yellow diamond i think it's just because then it fits with the um color of the Los Angeles Lakers um, but it is a power boost so if you're looking for that you can try and get that as well there are a lot of um, player packs as well which you can try and get obviously some more live pass tickets and then finally you've got this 94 overall power forward Tobias Harris let me know if you're trying to get him I'm going to try maybe this time and try and get him because I know I've been slacking off on the live pass every time it comes out I forget to play all of my objectives and all that stuff so the main way you can get live pass points if you go into the objectives you can see here each day these are going to refresh first one's really easy just log in once a day the second one you're going to be able to do just by playing three live events so that can be a live today the promos any of that stuff and you're going to get 10 from each of those ones going down all of these ones are for 10 except for the last one which you're going to have to complete all of them to be able to unlock so as you can see here the next one win a showdown game that's pretty easy it costs 25 stamina to go into a showdown game hopefully you can win it if you need some tips and tricks go watch this video um, that should be popping up on the screen now i know it's been a while um, since that I actually did that video and I know that was at the beginning of the season, but it does give you some tips and tricks that are still useful today. Then you've also got um, win a season's quarter, which is pretty easy again. Costs 50 stamina to actually get into the quarter, but then you will get 40 of the stamina back. So it should be pretty easy to do. And you could mainly uh, maybe go in, score a three pointer and just auto play the rest of it because you should be able to win if your team's all right. Um, and it's pretty good because, I mean, the competition in seasons isn't that hard, actually. It's pretty easy to do. You should be able to win pretty much all of those games. It depends what season you're at. Maybe you're really high. Maybe you've been playing through a ton of seasons games, but I haven't. So my opponent's pretty easy. So you can do that. Um, it should be a pretty easy way of getting some live pass points. Then you've also got score two three pointers. You might be able to do that in the actual live events or in a showdown game or in a seasons game. Get two blocks again. You can do that in a showdown game or a seasons game. Uh, get two dunks or layups same thing seasons game showdown game so you have to actually play the quarters for showdown and seasons and you might be able to complete some of the, uh, these objectives as well then as you can see once you've done all of these ones throughout the day you can get 20 extra life pass points uh, which is going to be pretty easy as well to get done then as you can see these will all refresh every single day so you should be able to do them each day then as you go on into the weekly stuff I've completed these ones again they're really easy to do spend 3000 stamina in any game mode so that could be playing through the promos the legends promo that's out now the playoffs promo round one that's out now and round two in the future will come out you can play through those ones spend your stamina on that and then you should be able to do this objective score 150 points in any game mode again that's really easy especially if you're playing those showdown quarters and the season quarters in the daily section and these for both of them that's 50 each week you're going to get and again they refresh each week so in total that's 100 just on the weekly stuff from the daily stuff as you can see there's one two three four five 
six, seven of these objectives. And then finally, you'll get an extra 20 with that. So that's 90 in total, just from doing your daily objectives here, which is pretty easy stuff. Then from the weekly stuff, you're gonna get 100. We'll do the math later as to how much life pass points you're gonna be able to get. Um, and then as you can see, that'll amount to a lot of points and you should be able to be good to go to get that Tobias Harris. Then as you can see, there are some extra ways you can get life pass points. If you go into the store real quick and you go into the life pass section, scroll all the way over to the end. Now these offers here, they will only be unlocked if you purchase the live pass. And as you can see, you can get some live tickets with that um, for actual money from cash or some coins. So that's pretty decent if you have spent the money in order to get the life pass. But then as you can see here, you can buy this pack twice and you can get 10 life pass points. It costs 5K coins, I think. Um, you can spend 5K coins each twice to get both the packs each single day. Uh, you can do that, get some extra live pass points as well. And you can see here, you can spend your life tickets um, on actually getting a life pass level, but I don't suggest you do this. I suggest you use your life pass uh, tickets in the actual section for the ultimate store. If we go back into it real quick, it takes a little while to load, but if you can see in the life pass, press on the ultimate store at the top here, and then you should be able to go back into this section. Now to get these masters, they are gonna be really hard to get. You might be able to get 99 Manu Ginobili by the end of it, no money spent. You're gonna to need to spend 500 of the tickets to be able to unlock Manu Ginobili and to be able to get him. So this is where you spend all those tickets. You can save up for these packs over here. I would suggest maybe going for the coins because you may not be able to get good stuff out of the packs. And I think the coins are mostly gonna be worth it in the end. So you're gonna to need to get 300 uh, tickets to be able to get the one mil coins, which are pretty decent. Or you can spend them here. You can buy credits, stamina, coins, or XP with 30 life pass points each. And these ones, there's only three you can buy of each. So I could buy three sets of 150K coins, three sets of 500 stamina, three sets of 1,000 credits, or three sets of 5K XP. And these will update with each live pass there is. Now, I think in the last season, there was, I think, three or four live passes throughout um, while the actual Ultimate Storm Masters were there. So this might be the same for this um, month as well, or this set of Ultimate Masters. They will go through maybe three or four different live passes, depending on how long they want to hold it in for. And that means you would be able to get, let's look how many you can get just from the standard live pass, not including the premium one, um, if you're just going to grind through and get all these tickets. So there's 30 over there, puts us up to 60 over there, 90, 120, 150 so you can get 150 live tickets just from the free live pass here as you can see so that's 150 you're getting just from this one then if we look here you're going to need to spend 500 for manu ginobili i reckon you should be able to get him no money spent if we have say three live passes while these ultimate storm masters are out that's three times 150 that's 450 live tickets then maybe we get a fourth one um, who knows, you might be able to get that Manu Ginobili, but it is going to be difficult no money spent. If you're going to spend money and buy the Life Pass, which I think is probably the best thing to spend money on in the game. That's what a lot of people say as well. You are going to get quite a few more uh, Life Tickets, as you can see here. It's grayed out for me, but you can get 180 just in that second um, set of Life Pass points when you unlock that. 180 plus the stuff you're getting from the standard Life Pass. Um, if we keep scrolling, you aren't going to get any more. So that's 180 you're going to get. Plus there's some store offers to get a bit more. And you should be able to get Manu Ginobili. Maybe even get some of the other masters as well. Because you can always spend the cash and unlock these offers. So if we go into the store, like I showed you earlier, the offers that do just unlock when you've bought the live pass, you can spend the money, spend some coins here, get 30 live tickets. But you have to buy the live pass. And I think that's probably the best thing you can spend your money on in the game. Uh, I know cash, you can spend your money on cash. But I reckon the live pass is probably the best thing you can buy um, with your actual money if you want to spend it or not. I'm staying no money spent. I will keep staying no money spent. Um, I'll just be trying to get these live tickets. And normally I spend the live tickets on actually getting some coins because I need the coins. As you can see, I'm nearly at seven mil. So I spend them all on the coins. Sometimes I spend it on credits because I can't be bothered to wait for an ad. But yeah, that's going to be quite an easy way of getting some points. But let's go into the calculator and let's work out exactly how many live, uh, live pass points you can actually get throughout the whole of the live pass. Okay, so let's work this out. For each day, from the daily objectives, you're gonna get 90 live pass points. And then if we stick that in, so times that by seven to work out how many you're gonna get each week, plus the weekly stuff. So you're gonna get 100 each week. Okay, so that puts us up to 700 live pass points you're gonna get each week just from the objectives, the daily and the weekly ones. So then we add on 
um, from the store. You can get some extra ones, like I said, just from buying the 10 live pass points you can get in the store. They cost 5k each. So that's 20 a day you're going to get. So we'll times that by seven as well. And we'll add that to the actual amount. So that's puts us up to 870 live pass uh, points in total each week you're going to be able to get. Um, this live pass is out for exactly three weeks and six days. Now it was out for four weeks and one days. Uh, I think four weeks and two days, sorry, um, for the whole of the month pretty much. So let's just base it off of four weeks, let's say, um, just to give us a bit of um, time. So if we times all of that stuff, by four so you're going to times 870 by four to work out how many you're going to get throughout the whole month and that's 3480 we're going to get in total from all the stuff we just worked out 3480 and as you can see to get tobias harris you're only going to need 3000 live pass points so it is doable to get tobias harris no money spent it is possible to do it so let me know in the comments down below whether you're going to try and grind for him or not I'm definitely going to be trying my best to try and get him. But let me know in the comments down below also whether you bought the live pass or not, whether you're thinking of doing it or whether you have already done it. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.